Hey guys, so I get this question asked a lot, um, whether you should use Joomla or WordPress. And if you're asking that question, you're actually on the right track because you understand that using uh, WordPress or Joomla, they are content management systems where you, the administrator, could uh, change the content the you know, and stuff and you don't have to call the programmer to change it. So you're on the right track of knowing. Either way, you're in good hands, honestly. I mean, if you look at the um, the abundance of resources on the web nowadays with any one of them, um, you, you can see eBay uses it, Barnes & Noble uses this, uh, GE uses Joomla, uh, IKEA uses Joomla, um, Pizza Hut, McDonald's uses Joomla. And if you look at uh, WordPress, um, you get the same kind of thing. You get, um, you get uh, eBay again using WordPress. So, I mean... Um, they just have different sites. A Yahoo uses WordPress. Dig, it's a big blogging type site, uses WordPress. Ford uses WordPress. Uh, Wall Street J Journal, uh, Sony, People, Samsung, PlayStation, so on and so forth, use WordPress. A, a little bit more people, uh, companies use WordPress and implement WordPress. In fact, it's a little bit more popular. And that's one thing you want to look at when kind of comparing what open source platform you should use. Um, an open source platform is a free platform where you can download it and you can manipulate it. And it's really good to use a really popular platform when using open source. I'll tell you why. Number one, a lot of people think it's popular and it kind of snowballs into this big popularity thing. Number two, and most importantly, is a lot of programmers are programming on it and they're going to report bugs and or do bug fixes and they're going to have a lot of extensions. So that's why I typically like to go with a WordPress because they have a lot of extensions, they have a lot of bug fixes and so on and so forth. But Joomla is almost up there. It's compatib co compatible to that you know, stage. Um, and look at the popularity on Joomla. It, it's ranked like number one in the world of ranked sites. The most popular is, is um, Google. And then the second one is um, YouTube and Facebook and so on and so forth. Um, Joomla is ranked 372, which isn't bad. Um, and WordPress is ranked 98. So WordPress is definitely a lot uh, more popular in terms of how many coders and programmers download it. And they also have a lot more modules and stuff to plug in. And one of the, the, the third thing that I really like about WordPress is the fact that they're really good with SEO. It seems with Joomla, you need a lot more help to uh, make your SEO correct and make it uh, blend in with Google. Um, because let's be honest, Google is the main factor of getting your SEO rankings. And the whole point of having a website is to make your SEO rank high. So if you want a simple uh, plug and play kind of thing, uh, WordPress is the best for that SEO and, and to get up there. And the whole point of a website is SEO. But they're both great platforms. It really just depends on you. Uh, to do blogging, honestly, uh, look at everything online. If you want to compare the difference, blogging is the best for WordPress um, on there. It just has the best social media plugins and so on and so forth. Um, some people like Joomla for uh, that and stuff, but that's, and that's fine. Um, but in terms of the best, in terms of comparisons, in terms of the help, um, you know, WordPress, if I was a programmer and I wanted to program even more, I would go with Joomla sometimes for scalability for if you wanted to make this huge database architecture site. But either way, you're you're fine with a site that could handle a lot of traffic um, and they could do a lot of plug and plays for SEO and you want to get um, people, get the site started you know, quickly. I would uh, highly recommend WordPress for that. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. But either way, you're good. Either way, I worked on both. I recommend uh, WordPress a little bit more just because there's a lot more plugins. And what plugins is, is you, you find a plugin online and you don't have to reprogram. You just plug it in, whether it's um, some kind of contact thing or whether it's some social media thing or Twitter thing. And you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And there's more plugins for WordPress than there is Joomla. Um, and that, that helps a lot, you know, that there's more focus on that. So um, I hope this video helped you and it gives you some insight. But either way, um, that, you know, you're on the right track if you want to get a, a content management system for your website.